If you enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss a video in the future. So it's finally that time of the year again where all those selfish teens enter the camp for the summer and disturb your mother's burial grounds. After all that waiting, you've finally been chosen to play as the hockey mask killer Jason Voorhees, but you realize right away that you don't have a damn clue what you're doing, as all of those selfish counselors keep bouncing their baseball bats right off your mask. Well, don't worry, we've got all the information you need to start slaying those kids in no time. Listen closely, take some notes, and let's get started. As Jason, your goal is to hunt down and kill all the counselors before they are able to escape. As you know, there are multiple ways that counselors can escape via repairing the car, boat, calling the police, or simply running out the time. Before you dive into a game, you're going to want to make sure you pick a Jason that suits your playstyle. If you enjoy playing slowly and taking advantage of long shifts and surprising counselors, Part 6 may be the Jason for you. Or perhaps you enjoy running after counselors and pushing them into the chase, forcing them to always think fast. In this case, you may enjoy running Jasons like Part 3 and Part 4. It simply comes down to how you like to play and what advantages slash disadvantages you'd prefer to equip. Once you have your Jason selected, you are ready to enter the playing field with those nasty counselors. But hold on, there's still a lot to learn before you're killing entire lobbies of veterans. You first need to understand your abilities. Every Jason has four main abilities, Morph, Sense, Shift, and Stalk. Morph is your first ability, which allows you to teleport around the map, which displays cabins, main buildings, vehicles, power boxes, and the fuse box. This is extremely useful for getting places fast and quickly responding to certain objectives that counselors are trying to complete. Your next ability is Sense, which shows players in proximity through their fear and noise. Jason is able to detect which cabinet counselor is in, but cannot pinpoint exactly where they are inside. Sense is crucial for keeping track of counselors that are playing safe and are difficult to find. The next ability, Shift, allows you to travel short distances to try and catch running counselors by despawning and accelerating any direction you choose. When used effectively, you can grab counselors right out of your shift and completely catch players off guard. And your last ability, Stalk, allows Jason to sneak up on victims by silencing footsteps and proximity music entirely. His ability to hear counselors will also be enhanced. Stalk is ultimately your jump scare ability giving you the opportunity to completely fool counselors into thinking you left them just to grab them out of nowhere and scare the hell out of them. Each of these abilities have different usage times as well as different cooldown times. Using these abilities effectively will prove to be crucial in your success as Jason and should be something you know very well and use often. After a certain amount of time or damage taken, Jason's ultimate rage ability is activated. All of the other abilities are enhanced significantly, and Jason can walk through doors and some walls rather than breaking them down with his weapon, giving you a tremendous advantage over counselors and will let you add constant pressure to remaining players. Jason also has tools to help him catch all the counselors. Throwing knives can be thrown to inflict damage from a distance and can be picked up almost everywhere on the map out of reach of counselors. These knives are extremely important for slowing down counselors with high speed and high stamina. The best way to catch players like this is to simply use your throwing knives and attempt to get the counselors limping. From there, you have the advantage. Bear traps can also be placed on the ground, covered with leaves, to surprise unsuspecting counselors. When a counselor steps in a trap, Jason is alerted via sound and on his map. It's best to use these traps at objective points, like the car and the fuse box for the phone. Ideally, this will be the first thing you do when starting a game and is an absolute must if you want to kill every counselor. Jason can perform a variety of kills after grabbing a counselor. You can equip 4 kills on each Jason before the match starts, either kills that you achieve without a weapon, or kills that take advantage of your weapon. In order to unlock more kills, you will have to use CP. To earn CP, all you have to do is earn XP by completing objectives in-game. In other words, the more you level up, the more CP you will earn. You can also earn quite a bit of CP in single player challenges by completing the listed objectives. Other than your selected kills, you can also take out counselors using the environment around you. All around the map are environmental slash context kills. After grabbing a counselor, various prompts will appear around you on random objects. If you walk over to one, you can perform a kill using the object that the icon is located on. These environmental kills reward the Jason player with higher XP, then grab kills, and usually are much more exciting and are for just personal satisfaction. One of the key points you're going to want to remember as Jason is not to be lazy. You have the ability to destroy doors, windows, radios, and generators. 
all these have their own benefits. For doors, since Jason can't enter or exit through windows, you're going to want to take down doors so they don't get in your way once chasing counselors, and is required if they are locked. The windows, on the other hand, will cause damage to counselors when going through them if they are broken. Players will often take advantage of windows in order to try and loop you around when you're playing Jason. Simply break the windows to quickly get rid of these issues. For radios, if turned on by a counselor, can distract you and fool you into believing that a counselor is inside of a cabin when they really aren't even in the area. Destroy these as you go so they don't cause difficulty later in the game. And last but not least, generators once destroyed can eliminate power to parts of the camp. With the lights out, counselors will have an increase in their fear, which will allow you to sense them more easily. Also, taking the power out, if done in time, can remove any possibility of Tommy being called. Now, some players enjoy playing quite safe and will often take advantage of hiding spots. Hiding spots include closets, under beds, outhouses, and tents. In a lot of cases, you will still be able to sense the counselor inside of the building of the hiding spot, but you will be forced to check each spot to find them. In other circumstances, you may not be able to sense the counselor at all, and you have to listen closely to your surroundings. If you are in the same cabin as a hiding counselor, you will be able to hear them breathing within their hiding spot if you listen closely and remain patient. While we are on the topic of listening, definitely make sure you are always listening closely while playing as Jason, as vehicle starting, mistakes made by counselors, and traps going off can be heard and are key to responding quickly to counselor actions. On the other end of the player spectrum, some counselors may want to go toe to toe with Jason and will often group up to beat up on you. This is where combat stance will prove to be crucial. You can use your combat stance by pressing in on your right analog stick. This will allow you to lock onto a player and block attacks, limiting the odds of you being stunned. If players are trying to get your mask off, definitely take advantage of combat stance and slash them down before they even get the chance. Believe me, it's pretty difficult to take down some of these counselors, but they deserve it, so study up on what I just taught you and remember, always stay one step ahead of those players and they won't even know what hit them. Now get out there and scare the hell out of some people. Good luck, my friends.